great. So let's go ahead and get started. If anybody jumps in here in the next couple of minutes, we, we won't be too far ahead, but I do want to be respectful of everyone's time here. So hello everyone again. Uh, my name is Jeremy Estes and I am on this Bucket.io, your first discovery survey webinar call. But what we're going to be doing is going through uh, Mr. Brian Anderson's um, discovery survey. And again, for those of you coming from the Ask Method, that's his deep dive survey. And uh, basically, uh, Brian sent over uh, just a kind of a, a basic rundown of what he's doing. And his objective is to move off of his Entreport where it's kind of glitchy and, and, and clunky for him to do the, the segmentation. So this would be a great way for him to use bucket.io uh, so that he can make it not only easier to, to set up, but it works a lot faster and it's a lot more streamlined. So we'll be setting up his Discover survey today. And by the time we get through it, uh, you're gonna see and know how to publish and build your own discovery surveys. Uh, you're gonna be able to read and understand the responses that are coming in. I've got some, some uh, surveys in there we can look at the data and just kind of understand what all is available to you. And then you're gonna be able to connect your bucket.io account to your email marketing service. Like I said, in this case, Brian's is Entreport. Uh, but it doesn't matter what yours is, you'll have an idea of how to go about doing that. And at the very end, we'll show you exactly where to go to get all the help you will ever need to run Bucket.io for yourself. So just a quick review, what are discovery surveys? Again, I know a lot of people here come from the Ask Method and you've heard it called uh, DDS or Deep Dive Survey. And Ultimately, it's the same thing. The only reason we call it discovery is there's some other options in there uh, that may not be covered, uh, that you may not be aware of. So we're going to walk through the discovery tool, which is again, a, an analysis tool that lets you kind of understand where your audience is, like what, what, uh, what information you need to know about them, they will tell you, and that will go into bucket.io. And then we'll walk through how to use that tool and then I'll show you kind of what we do with the responses once you have them in there, like how to read it, what do you do with that information? And, and so we're getting started with Discover Surveys and uh, the workflow for setting up a discovery set of, uh, discovery survey looks like this. You've got your build where you actually build the way it's going to look. You've got the design, which is putting those finishing touches on, on the design itself, the colors, the images, and the backgrounds, and, and other aesthetics. And then you've got your configuration where you set up all the, the details and the backend stuff. And then finally you publish. And from there it goes live and you can put it in front of anyone you want to respond to it. There are two types of discovery surveys. Today we're gonna be talking about the full page, but there is the option for a button survey. And you would use that, like let's say you just wanted to put a, a button on a page or, or maybe across like a, a welcome bar on your site, just to get as much traffic to fill it out as possible. That's where your button survey would go. But in the case of today, we're just gonna create a full page survey that uses the entire bucket.io app to, to hold everything inside of. And um, we're gonna get started right away with the build functionality okay the the build part comes up with four different components so you've got your welcome page you've got the questions that you're asking your uh, users you've got the email capture where you take their contact information and then you've got we have outcomes here it's really the thank you page uh, on the uh, discover survey so getting started with the welcome pages what they are it's, it's an optional first page that you can put for people to see when they come to take your survey. I say optional because most cases you won't actually need a, um, a welcome page. In fact, the demo we're gonna walk through today with, uh, with Brian Anderson's, it's not going to have a welcome page on it because he's sending his list, his email list, the survey, and so he's already, 
kind of telling them exactly what it's going to be via email. And so if you've, ever, if you've got a situation where you're sending out an email or sending people maybe from a Facebook group, maybe you don't, where you can kind of pre-frame in advance, you don't really need the welcome page, but I do want you to have it there because as you can see here, if you're going to do like a giveaway, maybe to, to cold traffic where they don't, they're not, you didn't send them an email or you didn't pre-warn them that they're going to be completing your, um, your survey then you will want to set that up in a welcome page. And the way that you do that is on the welcome page um, option inside of bucket.io. In fact, uh, I, will, I will step you through it in a second, but just so you can see how it looks, I mean, it's just a real simple landing page. You can do video, you can control the headline, the sub headline, you can throw some body text on there. Basically you can put everything you need on that welcome page uh, to sell the people into taking your survey. If you didn't have a way to set them up beforehand, you can use the uh, welcome page to do just that. And let's kind of jump in. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys inside of Bucket real quick. So when you're going to create a new discovery survey, there's two ways you can do it. You can, this is the dashboard that I just logged in. This is what you see when you first log into Bucket. Um, and you can start here or you can jump over to the Discover screen at the top. And the Discover screen is where you'll also be able to find all of your existing surveys and uh, if you need to access them later on. But you can also create a new one by clicking on this uh, blue plus. And as you can see here, we've got the choose discovery survey type. And like I told you before, we're going to be doing the full pager. And um, once you, the, the public name, so you see it says add public name. This is what you're gonna name it. This, you're gonna be using this name yourself. This, it says public name, but nobody sees this outside of you using it within the bucket.io app. So name it something that you'll instantly recognize it uh, later on when you need to access it or or um, duplicate it or use it at a later time. So in this case, we'll just call it, since Brian Anderson's company's name is Annuity Straight Talk, we're going to call it AST. Oh, look, I've got it right there from when I was playing with it earlier, Survey Demo. The eternal name, it's pretty much the same thing. You can just uh, fill out the same info there. And we'll continue. And so as you can see here, uh, to set up a welcome page, if you have not been in this section of Bucket.io before, to set up a welcome page like we looked at before, simply drag welcome page over here onto this part of the screen and it pops up the, the, the designer. And you just make your changes over here on the left. So this is a welcome page. Same thing with all the subheadlines, images. You, again, you can use um, images or videos, and you can embed any video that comes from any embed source, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, anywhere that offers the embed code, you can just plug that in here. Same thing with an image, you just upload an image and you're good to go. Um, and then the button, the button on this, welcome screen immediately takes them into the next step, which is the uh, questions. So you can't really change what the button does. It immediately once they click it, it will bring up the, the questions. So that's how the welcome page works. And like I said before, this isn't, we're not using one for uh, the uh, annuity straight talk. We're just, I just wanted you to see it in action uh, and, and see what's available and how to actually get into it. So I'm gonna discard my changes here. And let's pop back over to the, uh, the slides so I can kind of stay in line here and not end off in some other land. So you